What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or you can catch me on the web at www.whatsupinthesky.com and www.willferrar.net. I usually don't get the second one out but that's where I put my music and I used to be big into political back in the day but I'm not in politics anymore. I can't stand the, can't stand the scumbags that run it. can't stand any of it. But what you're looking at now is uh, a shoreline, sand, and a beach and water type swamp type area here. Um, and there's three shots in a row. We got four shots of this area that we're going to show you, but there's three shots in a row on this picture. Um, this is from the Mars Global Surveyor, which was a pretty amazing instrument that was up there. And we've got one more here. And now they're all the same area. You can see the same anomaly here. There's an interesting anomaly in this one. Um, but let me show you how to get it, because you know me, I always give out. I don't Photoshop anything. These aren't from Earth. I get I get emails from everybody saying everything that I've done or did. Go get the pictures yourself. You can get them here. Here's one right here, the one that has all the anomalies in it. Um, I'll put it in the description below. This is going to be another one you can get that is of the same area, uh, which is going to show changes to the shoreline. So stick around here. So. Let's take a look at these three shots. Um, you've got what seems to be some sort of water slash vegetation swamp area, something along those lines. Whatever it is, it's it's receding into it's it's feeding into a uh, an area where you get a shoreline. If you looked at a beach or you live on a beach, I live by Ocean City, Maryland, and uh, also have you know go to a house in the Keys on Chestertown, Maryland. You know, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of. Uh, amazing family and friends and, and places to go and, and beaches to see so I've seen beaches and I know beaches and this to me looks like a beach it looks like something uh, these you know either this looks like some sort of swamp land or something but either way there's tides affecting this planet still it seems um, our tides are supposed to come from our moon we know that uh, Mars does have moons uh, it's definitely not like our moon ours is a very special moon here um, and if you, I've got plenty of videos on our moon here as well if you want to go check it out I've got a lot of different subscribers who, leave, who believe a lot of different things and some amazing theories so that's one of them now let's check out the second one it's, you see a little bit more beach on this one it's a little bit more cut of an angle but you still see the same type uh, of you know water types up here you get a little bit of a splash where it comes in it's a little bit different um, as it reaches down there almost looks to be some long structure here and let's see these are let's the pixel resolution it's a uh, you know 11 meters per pixel so these these are very long stretches of beach so this right here would be a very long straight line uh, whatever that is that would be very long um, let's take a look at some of the other. The other one here is interesting because this uh, JP Skipper originally had this on the Mars Anomaly Research website, which is awesome. Um, but if you come down and check some of this, it looks like vegetation with water under, just like a Florida swamp where on the beach, on the shore, you'd have this because it would be, you know, on that, uh, the you know, as the tide comes in and out. Um, this anomaly right here, this is pretty neat. It almost looks like a double walled structure, and, and at each little pixel here is 11 meters. So you're talking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's already over, uh, you know, 111 meters right there. So that's something else. And then right here you have these sand structures that do look like they're letters. Uh, he had, I forget, he had said some V's, but to me this looks like a some sort of W, maybe a Y and an A or something, just some sort of uh, ruins. And if you think about all the ruins that we found in the deserts here on, uh, you know, on Earth, there's so much under the sand. Uh, Gobekli Tempe, just in Egypt alone. Now there's also ruins in nice plush areas. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I believe Mars was a, a lush planet, and it still has its areas that have life, water. Um, you know, they're saying there's a double dip in the temperature every day. It, they still have 24-hour days on Mars. It's a very much set up like Earth. Um, you know, they have double dip temperatures, they say. So, like, you know how we have it goes a high and a low. Apparently, they have two highs and two lows. Uh, you know, science is always changing there. People come here to my channel and act like they know everything about Mars. We don't even know everything about our own planet. You know, you can't sit here and tell me that we know everything about a planet, that the only people have been giving us information were governments and uh, black projects. I mean, and, and universities who usually get their money from where? Government. Um, so, to fund these type of things. But this was also, so let's take a look at this. I've got a really interesting anomaly here this is this area was once again photographed uh, at a later time at a little bit higher resolution actually and you can see it the same anomaly right here Oop, let me see let's see if I can get these next to each other um, now what 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to spin the other one so if you just remember this as it's going out like a little photon ray it would intersect right here on the picture so let's go right here and check it out okay that's about the same um, length that it was so let's go ahead and I'll turn it over so that's about the same angle so we would expect it right about here to start hitting in the uh, to start pulling it in but on this picture it's not up till here so they had said uh, at JP Skipper's website said well that's image tampering now that's not an image tampering that's water and a low tide and a high tide changing daily maybe even two times a day um, if that's how it works you know maybe th who knows you know who did I know so let's see this is pretty amazing right here I know the high tides and low tides come in here often um, so it, imagine what this would look like and look at how much different this looks a lot smoother here you don't get the uh, contrast actually you know what let me give it some contrast see if we can't make it look a little bit like the other one the other part's so bright okay so basically like I said the, the water's running directly into that anomaly here but right as of right here the shoreline's down more so it looks like there's more sand here um, so something's changed. It hasn't been water brushed out. They've just it's just changed. That's just the natural f formation of it's changed. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the fireworks videos. If you check out some of the last couple of videos, I put them up from uh, the fireflies. <laughs> the lightning bugs were mating at the house in Chestertown. It was crazy. Thousands of them in the backyard. Uh, they were everywhere. We came walking up from the pier, and Anna and I just stumbled into all of them. And then uh, fireworks on the beach in Ocean City were awesome. Loved it. If you're American, that's what we do on the 4th of July. Fireworks, beer, and crabs, at least here in Maryland. Um, if not, go check out some fireworks. I'm back on the Mars, back on the moon stuff. i got a new moon video to make next. Uh, probably put that out tomorrow. Much love, guys. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Hit share you know what to do guys i love you all you're the best subscribers take it easy and have a good one